nine for 20 including that big home run Sunday that tied the game in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And he takes a fastball inside for ball one and we're underway from Anaheim first of four between the Astros and the Angels three home runs and 20 at bats. As he crushes one. Are you kidding me deep this guy? to left field. Where's this one going to end up? In the home bullpen. The second bullpen in left beyond the Astros pen. Jose Siri starts this road trip off with a bang. Yes, Siri. Oh. There's a lot of people around Houston saying, hey, Siri, right now. So, man, that is a good fastball to hit. 92 right down the middle. He did not miss it one bit. 109.4 off the bat. And he hit it the distance of my birthday, 426. Ooh. That's a heck of a way to start this road trip with a couple of walks. And he hits one hard to right field, and that is over the head of Jose Rojas off the wall. Hit it so hard that he has to hold up with a single. That was a bullet to right. Yuli inside out swing into center field. That'll be down for a hit. The Cuban connection of Jordan Alvarez and Yuli Gurriel back to back singles here in the first inning. Has two hits against Berea, both home runs. But here he goes down on strikes. Berea picks up his first strikeout. Two away in the inning. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Jordan Alvarez around third. He'll score. Carlos Correa, RBI number 86 on the year, makes it a 2 0 Astros lead. That ball set in the air to left, playable for Phil Gosselin near the line. He puts it away for the final out of the inning. Astros score a couple of runs, though. A Jose Siri solo home run, followed by a Carlos Correa RBI single. It's 2 0. Well, injury he suffered in Arlington with a cut on his index finger of his pitching hand, but he's ready to go tonight and delivers a strike to Brandon Marsh. Wow, Robert Valdez just pouring him into the strike zone, and Brandon Marsh didn't offer it any of the three. He'll go down on strikes to start this one. Both of them hit a home run in their first at bats. 3 2 on the ground. Yuli Gurriel will take it to the bag himself. And a good first inning for Robert Valdez, a 1 2 3 start. Not all of them, some of them do. There's a line drive. How about Maldi? Three straight games with a hit in the right field. I thought he was a speed guy. He's got it all. <laughs> you don't see many that clear the visitors' bullpen. Went after that fastball, and Berea wins this matchup as he strikes out Siri for out number two. Foul tip caught by Suzuki. Bregman strikes out to end the inning. One hit, one man left on base. Astros on top, two to nothing. As facing Phil Goslin in the leadoff. Bottom half of the second inning. First pitch swinging. Grounds one to third. Alex Bregman bobbles, and that may have cost him. Alex had to come in, and Goslin getting down the line in a hurry. Got him. First time ever Fromber has struck out Jared Walsh as he wins this battle. Got ahead 0 and 2, and then Walsh worked the count to full before Fromber got him against the Angels. On the ground. Backhanded by Marwin. His flip is wide of Correa. It was a nice play to stop the baseball from going into the outfield, but then the backhand flip eluded Carlos. There you go. Robert Valdez picks up a strikeout to end the inning. Three strikeouts in the game. He strands two, and we're going to head to the third with the Astros leading two to nothing. Now, I don't think Berea wants to challenge him with a fastball. Yeah, he shook all the way to the slider. No, he isn't. That did not have to be a strike, but it is a called third strike, and that's three in a row for Berea. Off the glove of Berea. Fletcher's not going to have a chance to make the play. Yuli hit it hard, deflected by the pitcher, and Yuli is two for two. Line drive, base in right field. Carlos Correa matches Yuli Gurriel. Both are two for two tonight. They are on base here with two outs. Looks like they may be going away. They are. Got to chase it. 
Nice play by Berea. Stabs the one hopper for the final out of the inning. Two hits, two men left on base. The Astros still lead two to nothing. That's what can make him so effective and why he's been so good in the postseason. As Marsh sends one into the left field, Jordan will play it on a hop. Brandon Marsh with a looping single in the left field. On the ground to Correa, underhands it to Marwin for one. Sidearm throw for the double play. Correa to Gonzalez to Gurriel. And that's how this inning will end. Robert Valdez gets a double play. Statistician to the stars, helping us out even when he's not working in the booth next to us. Strike three called on Siri on a 2 2 pitch at the top of the zone, and that'll do it for the Astros in the four. Strikeout number five for Berea, 2 0 Houston. But Tuck could easily finish top five, I would think. And oh, who knows? Yeah. Who knows if he finishes strong? Could be top four. How about that inning? Fromber Valdez. Ground ball to Correa. Ground ball to Correa. Ground ball to Correa. It's 2 0 Astros. Has four consecutive base hits against them. On the ground, give him another one. Five consecutive hits for Yuli in his career against Jaime Berea. He's three for three tonight, the two out base runner. Kyle Tucker sends one deep to right field. That'll be down for a hit and one hop over the wall. Maybe a bad break for the Astros. If that ball stayed in the play, Yuli could have potentially scored. Instead, it'll be second and third with two outs. There is a line drive in the left field, but it's going to hold up. And Goslin comes on to make a running catch for the final out of the inning. Hit hard by Correa, but he lines out. Oh, give it to him. Yes, sir. Fromber Valdez picks up a strikeout on the hook. Getting Jose Rojas looking. Beautiful curveballs in that sequence. Kind of sends a little jolt through the body. You're going, whoa, 94. And then blew him up. Hits it the other way. Another soft hit. Angels four hits tonight. None of them have been particularly hit hard, but Renhipo hit one against the shift there. So not a lot of hard contact on the base hits. Mayfield hits the ball high and deep to center field. All the way back. McCormick and Alvarez. Thankfully, they did not collide because Chaz would not have done well in that collision. No. But Jordan pulled up at the last moment. There are base runners. That ball hit hard and passed Luis Renhipo. That oh, was a rocket off the bat of Chaz McCormick. Renhipo tried to short hop it, but it bounced past him into left field. Chaz is on the move. Swing and a miss. The throw will be safe at second base. McCormick picks up his four steal. Maldonado out number two. There you go. Caught too much of the plate. Fly ball left field. Playable for Goslin. Puts it away for the final out of the inning. One hit, one man left on base. We head to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Still 2-0 Astros. Now has six assists on the infield. This one shot the other way. Past Marvin Gonzalez into right field. And Fletcher has a single. That's five base hits now. All singles allowed by Valdez. Got him! Big strikeout for Fromber Valdez. Getting Shohei Otani for out number two. And a four pitch walk to Goslin. Put runners on first and second now with two outs. Talking about TK. Ground ball right side. Marvin Gonzalez makes the play, and that'll do it. Robert Valdez strands a couple of runners in the sixth inning. A hit and a walk. We are through six. Astros lead two to nothing. And a good take again. Myers misses down and away. And that'll be an initial walk to lead off the seventh inning. Got him. Breaking ball down and in. Jordan trying to go out and get it, but first strikeout for Myers. One out here in the seventh. On the ground, right side could be two as Renhipo takes the flip from Fletcher to turn the double play to end the seventh inning. A walk, wiped out by a double play, and seventh inning stretch time at Angel Stadium. Hits it sharply off the glove of Alex Bregman. That'll go into shallow left field. Kurt Suzuki two for three, a sharp single. That was one of the hardest hit baseballs of the night. A game behind. 
good outing by Tyler Anderson. Renjifo goes down. Big strikeout there by Fromber Valdez. Out number two in the inning. Strikeout number six in the game. Four pitch walk from Fromber Valdez. 2 0 pitch was pretty close. He wasn't given that call. Way upstairs with a fastball. Back to back walks. Maybe showing signs of fatigue. A four pitch walk followed by that walk. Line drive. Backhanded by Correa. The bounce throw to first in time. And the Astros strand the bases loaded. A bullet to the backhand of Correa, who makes the play for the final out of the inning. That ball hit hard. Line drive to left field, and that's going to one hop against the fence. Carlos Correa, have yourself a night hitting the ball hard every time up tonight. He's three for four as he doubles here with one out. Marwin with a base hit into right field in between first and second. Around third comes Carlos Correa. He'll score. Marwin Gonzalez, a big RBI, makes it a 3 0 game here in the eighth. Seattle was six. That ball up the middle. Chaz McCormick on an 0 2 pitch with a base hit to center field. He has back to back hits, a two for four night for Chaz. And the Astros with first and second and one out. Martin hits one to center field deep all the way back Marsh at the wall gone Martin Maldonado Hits one to straight away center field towards the rocks for a three run shot And the Astros have broken it open. It is now a six to nothing game How about the machete? Well done, Martin Maldonado, the old stomping grounds for Martin. Went out and got that cutter. Got the arms extended, barreled it up, and went on a hike. Martin puts one on the rocks to try and ice this one. Six nothing in the eighth, and Fromber's reaction, yeah. Correa and Altuve flying out of the dugout. On the ground is short. Renjifo makes the play, but a big inning for the Astros. RBI single by Marvin Gonzalez and the big blast. A three-run shot by Maldi. Astros lead six to nothing. On the ground, Correa to his left. That is eight consecutive appearances scoreless for Brooks Raley a strong one two three bottom half of the eighth inning we head to the ninth in Anaheim Astros lead six to nothing Jordan hits one to left center field and that is a line drive off the wall on one hop Alvarez cruises into second base with his second hit of the night Jordan with a ringing double to left center Division title in the last five years. Inside, Yuli Guriel draws another walk, adding to his career high total. Half of the eighth. Little tapper, Carlos hustling. That's a four hit night for Carlos Correa. Correa matches his career high with a four hit night to start this road trip. That ball crushed deep to right field. That's a grand slam. Marwin Gonzalez hits a 1 0 pitch out to right for a grand slam to give the Astros a 10 spot tonight. Five RBIs for Marwin. Told you you could hit the fastball. It dead red got it and hammered it Astros piling on 
came against Andrew Heaney of the Angels on August 24th of 18 as Chaz McCormick goes down on strikes. We're the first team to get to 800 run score, but they have been passed in this game by the Astros who now lead all of baseball with their 10 run output against the Angels. We head to the bottom of the ninth. It's all last. Astros 10, Angels nothing. Before this year was 28 pitchers in the 14 season. 3-2 pitch up and in, and Martinez walks the first batter. Slider has become more of a sweeping slider, and that's been a key pitch for him. Gets a ground ball here, could end the game. 4-6-3, game over. Astros win the opening game on this road trip, 10 to nothing. In the process, they reduce their magic number down to six with the Oakland A's losing at home to Seattle. Blummer, that's a great way to kick off the West Coast swing. You're darn right. They needed a big start from Fran Valdez, and he gave it to him going deep in that ball game, limiting the use of that bullpen, giving those guys an extra day off. We get to see a debut of Seth Martinez, who finishes this game off. And, of course, the big hitting of the Astros coming around another 17 hit game and a 10 plus run game the Astros trying to run away with the West Astros magic number down to a half dozen plenty to talk about on the post game show coming up right around the corner